So we're back here today for day two of the strike with St George's security guards today. These are just some of the security guards here on strike. This is their second day and this is the second of 15 days. I just want to acknowledge some of the people that have come down here today, one of which we've got Mona here, who's a doctor with St George's, and she's come down to support solidarity. So thank you to Mona and all of you. And now, we're going to hear from another security guard on strike. Good morning, everybody! Firstly, I would like to thank everybody for coming to support us on our second day of strike. Thank you, we appreciate all your support. I'm one of the supervisors who work for Noonan Contractors who are outsourced through St George's University of London. We are striking because we want equality and equal pay. We get no benefits, we get no sick pay, holiday and pension. Like uh, we work for this university, we do night and we do days. We haven't got any shift allowance. We do night shifts, we haven't got any shift allowance. And we haven't got any changing facilities. We are uniformed security officer. We haven't got any changing facilities. We know we're treated very badly compared to everyone else. We're not on the same level. We're the ones who get here before everyone and we leave before everyone. And this university, St. George's University of London, the management is very much bullying and racist. They are abusing us. They are, they are not listening to us. They never give us equal pay. They, they never treat us equal. They are discriminating us. There is no security whatsoever. They can do what they want with us and they can get rid of us when they won. It's easier for the client to get rid of contractors than if you were in on a permanent contract and one of them. So what will change that? The coming in-house workers. It will be beneficial for everybody, for the university, for us. We will get a, they will get a better performance out of us and we will get our, give them our best. Arrested. You need to explain to everyone why we are in a position where you can arrest us by standing here. If you are here, I'm causing a disturbance and nuisance to NHS staff, which I've been clearly told by the staff here that you are. We are committing section 119 of criminal justice and immigration act. So the and what's the disturbance? That's an arrestable offence. Why? Because you have committed section 119. Picketing is a breach of section 119, is it? Picketing. So we, we, Picketing on NHS is a breach of section 119. You guys are misinformed about the law. Your colleagues are getting sued yesterday for unlawfully arresting somebody. You want to make the same mistake? You've been here for nearly two hours. Picketing. Causing a nuisance and a disturbance. So you're saying, you're saying that a picketing, you're saying that a law. But are you saying so, uh, that you can't answer properties? You'll be arrested. I'm asking questions. Yeah. That's not the At the end of the day, the management that knows, I mean, like, we're gonna win. We're gonna get equal pay. We're gonna get fair treatment for, from the university. We're gonna win. Justice will be served.